This is Mike Hadfield of Three Hats Fly Fishing. Just about every fly angler has in their fly box an assortment of go-to flies that they have confidence in to fish, especially when fishing is tough. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you the assortment I, that I call my go-to flies. Okay, I'll begin with the dries. Each of these patterns that leaves a different footprint on the water and has a little bit different profile while floating on the surface. Size 14 or 16 is probably the most common size, but I usually go a bit larger when using them in a dry or dropper rig, or down to an 18 or 20 for midge imitations. This first pattern is the Parachute Atoms. Uh, this fly floats low with its body and the surface scum, and can also be used in emerger situations. The second one we've got here, this is the Royal Wolf. This is a true attractor pattern that imitates a lot of things closely, but nothing exactly. This fly floats high in the water, and a hackle leaves a leggy impression on the surface. Okay. Next is the Elk Hair Caddis. Uh, this floats high and leaves a wide shadow on the surface, and this has a wing profile to mimic a true caddis as well. The next of the dries is the Olive Stimulator, or the Stemmy. And this is another true attractor pattern that imitates a lot of insects. The long profile of this fly makes it an excellent terrestrial imitator. Okay. Now let's move over to the subsurface flies. And once again, a size 14 or 16 is the most common size. And I generally carry beadhead as well as non-beadhead patterns. The first is a pheasant tail. This is a good all-around dark-bodied, slim profile nymph that will imitate many insects that crawl around in the rocks and the gravel of the stream. A non-beadhead version can be used to fish high in the water column or in slower moving water. The next pattern, the Prince, is a pattern that has a bit more bulk to the body profile and has visible wings and a thicker tail. I've even clipped the wings off of this pattern to offer the fish something a little bit different. The gold ribbed hare's ear, it's a good all around traditional pattern with a little bit lighter body coloration. I use this fly when fishing the stream with light colored sandy bottoms because insects tend to camouflage themselves based on their surroundings. And last but not least is the olive woolly bugger. The woolly bugger is the rubber worm of the fly box and this imitates just about anything from smaller forage fish to leeches to insect larvae to worms. This pattern can be fished on a dead drift or stripped through the current. Another popular color is black. The most common sizes for woolly boogers range from probably a 6 up to a size 2. And there you have it. My 8 go-to flies that I carry just about any time I go in the water. If you don't carry these right now, check out blueflycafe.com. They have all these patterns in addition to about 900 other ones in both the bead head and the standard ties. So until next time, tight lines.